Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to illustrate several layers of chiffon in your fashion drawings. If this is your first time watching my videos, I'm Mikel and you're watching Fashion Adventures. Please make sure that you subscribe because I'm posting a new video every single Thursday. The dress in today's tutorial is the swim gown from the movie Titanic. Rose is wearing that beautiful gown for the second half of the film. In my opinion, watercolors are the perfect medium for rendering chiffon. Because the paint dries transparent, if you apply several layers, they will show through. You can of course use any transparent medium, like inks or markers, but I prefer the softness of watercolors. My idea was to build up the colors of the dress by working from the bottom layer up to the topmost. But I started off with the sash around her waist because it's satin and it was the only part in the dress which was not transparent. After finishing the sash, I used a violet tone for the first layer of chiffon and applied it in a bold manner with a large brush. For the next layer, I used the same violet, but this time I added some opaque white into the mixture. This gave the color a tiny bit of coverage and made it paler at the same time. The third layer is in the same pink like the sash, but made paler by water and white paint. And the very last fabric on top is again in the violet color, but with much more opaque white in it, so it can stand out against the layer underneath. Its coverage is visible compared to the pink underneath. I must admit that my illustration of the dress is much more saturated than the colors of the original costume. The dress has a lot of layers in pale violet, pastel pink, white and blue. I couldn't draw them all at once in one illustration, but I tried to recreate that feeling of softness and sheerness. That's why I chose a rather dancing figure. I wanted the fabrics to fly around the model, showing all the colors and lightness of the chiffon. I was done with rendering the chiffon so far, but the dress looked a bit too dull and needed some dimension. Once the illustration was dry, I took that same violet tone to render some shadows, but this time I didn't dilute it as much with water. The shadows in chiffon are soft and can be applied with a thin brush in form of lines and blended out if needed. Here's my personal tip on chiffon fabrics. If there is a hem, as it is often the case, use a thin brush and show it. Because chiffon is transparent and folded narrowly several times at the hem, the color of the hem will appear dark if the chiffon is rich in color and lighter if the fabric is in a pale tone. Does it make sense to you? I applied some white acrylic paint to add some highlights on the hem and the dress itself. If I leave the strokes pure white, they will be too harsh for chiffon. That's why I blended them a bit every time I applied them. The last finishing detail was to use a pale grey Copic marker to add even more shadows between the layers, focusing mainly on the edges. I really love the contrast of the grey color against the bright hemline. I hope this tutorial wasn't too confusing because of the motion in the figure and the fabric. If you leave out the crazy flying layers, chiffon is very easy to render actually. If you're interested in how I render white lace, check out my video on Rose's tea gown from last week. It features several layers of white English lace over moss green silk. 
check it out in the description box below this video. This was my last illustration on Titanic dresses. If you want to see all gowns from my Titanic series, I'm going to link to them under the video or you can visit my YouTube channel page. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.